it's not over yet. I still got a couple of precious orbs, and maybe, just maybe, I could still get Ike. Fuck! Okay, fine, whatever, whatever. We're gonna go for it anyway, and we're gonna get something. Yes! <laughs> what am I even feeling right now? What, what the fuck? Okay, fine, acceptable. As long as I don't end this god for Naga, this Naga Forsaken banner, with a high pity percent. Uh, I'll, I'll check the IVs later. I'm probably just gonna merge it into the one I have already. I'm pretty sure it's perfect IVs. Attack and minus defense. Okay, uh, drawback fodder. And the last one, uh, we'll just go blue because it would be nice to have Robin maybe. Or maybe it would just be nice to have Odin. Okay, neat, awesome, fantastic, cool. No Ike, 520 orbs in the ditch. No Ike. Fuck. Fuck. Fuck, fuckity, fuck, fuck, fuck. Instantly demonetized, worth it. Okay, so that summoning wasn't quite enough to fill the gap. <laughs> I didn't really want it to be like just a minute and a half long. I don't know, maybe that was pretty uh, entertaining. <laughs> that was probably like, if, if, if I were to compare that to anything, that'd be like a, an insane roller coaster where you just, you scream all the way to the top and you hang out for like a second and then just instantly plummet back to the earth. Oh my god. Uh, I've, I've had these uh, like little arena highlight clips for a little bit here. So I've been meaning to use them in a video. So I guess this is a uh, the perfect opportunity, I guess. Oh man. I don't, I don't really have anything um, ready to talk about. No topics listed or anything for once. Because usually I, I like to keep myself on topic from rambling about nothing like I am right now. But I guess I'll just talk about uh, how I feel about not getting Ike and the legendary banner as a whole and maybe the Hero Rises event. I, I mean, you, you guys know already how much I like Ike. <laughs> He's by far my favorite character. And I have like other favorite characters as well, but my second favorite character, Robin, doesn't even come close to compare to like how much I like Ike, you know, comparatively. Like I really like Robin. Um, I identify with him a lot as a character, even though he's, he's the avatar. Essentially, you know, he's supposed to identify with you in the first place. So I guess that's kind of a moot point. But, um, my God, wow, I just, you know, for all of you longtime fans who've seen, like, a lot of my summoning videos, just, like, whenever I'm really trying to summon for something, and that was majority of the time fucking Ike, I really had a difficult time summoning for him. It would usually go down to the very last couple of orbs and then maybe I would get him like when I first summoned for the first Ike that came out. Oh man, it came right down to the last couple of orbs b before I got him. I think I did end up sniping the entire way, but um, I sacrificed five stars as a whole in order to get like one copy of an Ike. It ended up being like a ridiculous waste of orbs. And then this entire 520 orb endeavor it's like roughly 520 maybe it's like just 500 plus i don't know not exactly uh an exact number but um for those of you wondering i am still 100 percent free to play um it tempted me for literally like half a second to buy orbs because um i just i justified not buying orbs because I was going to be like, I just, you know, dumped in about like 400, 420 orbs and I didn't get the character I want. What the hell is like $13, you know, 23 orbs. What, what? 
makes me think that 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 23 orbs how is that magically gonna get me something that I want more than you know the 400 I already went in and it's a really sobering feeling to think about that um and I won't, like, criticize or admonish anyone that spends money on the game. Uh, for me, if I were to summarize, you know, my choice to be, you know, 100% free to play, it's not for fucking attention or to be popular on YouTube or anything. It is legitimately a personal choice. Um, and I could, like, go into detail from there, but um, that would actually take a significant amount of time, and I think I've already talked about it. Um, not that you're going to go back and look for that video anyway. Maybe I'll talk about it again in the future or something. But uh, here's here's a clip that's definitely going to trigger a lot of people. Um, and for a little bit of context, I also uh, gave Laszlo here a four-star Athena so that way he could get both the HP defense skill and the Wodow Plus. <laughs> um, biggest reason for that is because I have so many sword units already, and I 100% um, knew for a fact I'm never going to use Marissa. So that's why I did. It's not to specifically piss people off, but the idea of it made me laugh. Um... Here I'm going to merge that new Gunthra I got onto uh, my current one. And I was actually surprised that it gave her a boost in speed rather than attack. Either one's fine, really. Um, but yeah, that legendary banner. Oh god, that was soul crushing. Oh man. I just, I am, I'm really, uh, really salty about summoning. I'm pretty pessimistic about it. I really don't want to, like, summon <laughs> ever again. Ugh. I, I feel like I would have way more fun summoning on that, uh, fodder banner that we had. And, um, because I, I would at least get what I'm going in for in the first place, even if it's not the characters on the focus. Because everything is fodder. Including this Shada. <laughs> um, reason for this fodder is because she's minus attack, and I have a very, very difficult time using her, so why not put her weapon in the hands of somebody who can really use it? And I've had fun with it. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Uh, let me know your thoughts and feelings on the legendary banner in the comments below.